Hello friends, today you're welcome to Scratch It with Prime and today we have another wonderful project we're going to be working with and we're going to see how to work with another wonderful blog and this is Change X by 10. I know so many of you have been asking me to do this video Change X by 10. Now today we've been talking about, we'll be talking about the project Change X by 10. Now look at this. Now this video, change X by 10, remember now, let me change the background and so you'll be able to see, let me use the X and Y grid background and so guys, always subscribe to this channel and it, that's the only way you can help us to do more video to encourage us to do more of this. So you see the X, Y grid, now if you notice, in this line, the horizontal line, you notice the X only has the value, but the Y is zero. And in this, the horizontal line, when it crosses the middle, the X here is minus, minus 240. And at the middle, the X is zero and Y is zero. Now, when going the vertical line, up and down, you notice the X is zero, only the Y has the value. Up, the Y is positive, and down, the Y is negative. So let's see what change x by 10 dollars now make take note you can change the input the input must not only be 10 you can also actually make it 5 like i'm going to do now 5 now this is going to reduce the steps it's going to move so now let me use the change x by 10 by 5 so immediately i click on it see what happens it keeps going forward are you seeing it as i keep clicking on it it keeps going forward as i keep clicking on it it keeps going forward and i keep clicking on it it keeps going forward are you getting it so this helps you to move in the x and y direction which is it helps you to move in the horizontal direction now if i change this 5 to minus 5 that means minus help us to go back so if i click on the x so can you see it's going backwards can you see it is going backwards can you see it's going backwards it's going backwards can you see it's going backwards thank you so this is what this block helps us to do. The change X by whatever input you want. Now, if I increase the input to, let's say, 60, you're going to notice it's going to move faster. Can you see it? It has already got into the end. Now, if I add the minus sign, the negative sign behind, it's going to move faster. It's going to come back faster. And... If I bring out the change Y, now see what's going to happen in the change Y. Let's take our sprite, let's take it back to the middle. Now, if I use the change Y by 10, now Y helps us to go up and down. So let's walk. watch. If I'm clicking on the Y, can you see it's going up? Now, if I change this to negative, if I change this to negative 10, now if I click on it, you're going to see it coming down. Can you see that? So this is how the change y by x, the change y by 10 works. This is how the change y and change x work. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Now, if you want to do a simple movement, you can also use this change y by 10, change y by 10, depending on the input you want. Now, this input helps you to add how fast or how slow you want it to move. So this is how the change y and the change x works so do well to subscribe to this channel and like this video and share this video if there's any concern you have or you want to give us you want to encourage us leave a beautiful comment down and if you think we've made any mistake because nobody is above mistake let me know in the comment section bye we'll see you next time